So there's about a foot of snow everywhere. And I'm going to take... Yep, and I'm going to take the ram out to go get some toothbrushes and some other stuff that I need. You can see it is it is covering my whole foot as I walk, so. Oh, look, the door's covered. Okay. Oh, snow fell in. No. No. Damn it, Daniel. <laughs> and you, Spani, there's over like a foot of snow here, right? Okay, there's a lot of snow basically. I'm about to take out the ram to go get some medicine and toothbrush and what's what not. And yeah, look how much snow has fallen on the hood. And I cannot get the snow off my freaking wipers. Look in the bed. I have to uh, brush it off. All right, and here we are in the ram. About to go ahead, put on four wheel drive. out boys and we're just gonna go ahead and follow on these cars here at a nice slow rate there we go Conditions are very icy. Uh, full wheel drive is highly recommended. And only going 19 miles an hour. Nothing crazy. We're just trying to get through here. I'll pick back up when I get closer to the city. Alright, and now I'm getting closer to the city. Um, not even the city, like just the main road right here with the gas station that we can get anything from or the convenience store It's a little bit down the street as well But as you can tell The roads do have deep snow look at the Jeep going through, you know This is a Quite a snowstorm look at this guy. He's spinning out right here. We're gonna go ahead and turn right Put on the blinker go ahead and go through nothing too crazy just full-wheel drive really helps out here um, you probably wouldn't be able to drive this easy out here if you did not have full-wheel drive so this is quite a bit of snow to drive through to be honest with you and we have a Nissan Altima in the snow Just so you can see, it's clearly snowing out here. The, you know, there's a lot of snow all the way around. Snow all in the parking lot, everywhere. So we gotta go two more miles down to a different store, but yeah, look at the trucks. Everything is very deep. Like, look at this, even driving through here, full of snow. Let's continue. So like I said, when you're out here, you really gotta know where you're going and also you gotta have four wheel drive because look at this. That is very deep snow for, you know, like a full a front wheel drive or a rear wheel drive vehicle. We'll definitely skate out. We have Teslas out here that are marvelously great because of their weight, I believe. All right, right there we had a little bit of slippage. Let me put on my seatbelt real quick. And let's continue on straight. All right, and we're gonna be actually going into this Walgreens, so you have to anticipate the turn and then, yep, we're sliding for sure. Is it even open right now? I'm not sure, it looks like it is. Okay, so unfortunately this uh, Walgreens is closed and we're gonna have to go to this local convenience store that they have called i don't even know what it's called like king scoops or something like that but i'll tell you the difference look if i put it in two-wheel drive you're gonna see real quick what happens and i'm gonna take off the traction control so you can see what happens if you had a two-wheel drive vehicle out here let's just try to go through here look i'd be stuck right here i'm spinning 
If you had a two-wheel drive vehicle right now, you would be spinning, you would be stuck. Look, two-wheel drive. In these conditions, you wouldn't be able to get through. You would just spin right in, in your position. Look, two-wheel drive. You would just spin. Prime example of why you need four-wheel drive. As soon as you put four-wheel drive on, take traction control, put it back on, you will see what happens. Four-wheel drive. All four grab. Perfect. And that's exactly what you need right there. Four-wheel drive gets you out of anything. It's our turn to go. Again, like I said, if you don't have all-wheel drive, I don't know how you're getting through. Like that car in front of me is probably a front-wheel drive vehicle and it's not gonna have the capability to accelerate like this vehicle will be. So he's gonna be driving a lot slower than I am because this vehicle is a lot more capable than that vehicle is. So no traction slippage. That car is probably not having the best time right now. But that's why you get yourself a four-wheel drive vehicle and you have no problems. Snow tires, get the right equipment and you'll be set up. I do feel it sliding, but you always stay in the tracks of the tire of the, tr like the car that went ahead of you, you know? That's the trick pretty much to driving in the snow. Just follow the rut that's already there. And if there's a red light, anticipate the braking. If you have a front wheel drive, that's exactly what happens. Your front tires are spinning a lot faster than your back tires and you don't have much traction. That's another front wheel drive vehicle. You can see that it's struggling. All those vehicles are struggling because they just pull through the front tires and it's not safe at all, to be honest with you. Um, you wanna pull from all four tires. That's the safest option. That's why this truck has no issues going through this stuff. And here you see everything is pure white around here, pure white. Keep going straight as long as you have four-wheel drive you're good like i said and i know i keep repeating it but it is really essential here something's going on over here maybe someone had an issue yep so we have a vehicle here that probably could not climb or had an issue or got pulled over i'm not sure let's go around this vehicle front wheel drive look they're sliding they don't have quite a as bit as traction as this vehicle does they're sliding all over the place but they probably have uh summer tires and that's their issue this truck is fully equipped though all right i need to turn and i am going into the deeper snow so you can... but this is actually kind of fun watching the other car struggle is kind of cool front wheel drive you know it's not the best out here. All right, turning left is a little drifty, to be honest with you. Oh, we get a little sideways here. Oh, we're good though with the four x four. Definitely helps out. I'm gonna be going through here, going through a snow-filled parking lot. All right, we gotta go in there. Okay, wow. Look at that snow. All on the vehicles. I'm sure this thing is snowy. This is crazy though. You know, it's a lot of snow. I've never driven in the snow, never been in the snow like this. This is wild. All right, so we got what we need. The snow is heavy as fuck. We got all the s'mores, pizza, all the shit you could fucking want. Excuse my language. In a snowstorm. Oh. 
Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull on out of the parking lot of the King Supers. Oh, park and brake. I always forget that. Oh, seatbelt as well. Hold on one second. All right, let's go ahead and go forward. Wow. Look at how snowy it is out here. That blue light is, I'm pretty sure, for indicating that there's a lot of snow. We're on our way back to the house now. Alright, so like I said, here we go. That truck has full wheel drive. That person is stuck over there. They cannot get out. They are stuck. And that's what happens in the snow. Let's just wait right here because I can't really see a spot for me to merge into. Let's go right here after this one. Step off. Alright, now let's go on into it. Scoot on through, boy. There we go. Okay, here you have to be smart. We are at a deep decline here. Um, I wouldn't really ride your brakes. I would just let the truck go at the pace that it needs to go just like all these other vehicles and stay in the lines that they are making that's the key to driving in the winter yes I am doing only 27 miles an hour 26 but there's no problems that station is closed I did want to go to the Circle K though and get one more pack of beers so one second We just came through here, so let's see how it is now. It's the same. Okay, and I am back on the road. Um, I'm gonna be going to do a U-turn. Right here. U-turn, give it some gas. Uh, okay, that didn't work because it didn't grab, so let's back up. Perfect. Now let's put it back in drive. Let's haul away. Heck yeah, boy. Oh yeah. That four-wheel drive power, boy. Let's turn traction control off. Let's see if we could drift this turn. Let's drift the turn! Traction control is off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we sliding now. Let's put that traction control back on. Let's get back home. And here we are arriving at the house. Quite a bit of snow. I'm pretty sure that this is burying the tires of the truck. Let's go ahead and back her on up. We have officially made the trip. And let's see what it looks like outside. Wow. 
definitely at least a foot of snow on that road definitely goes up to that whole bar plate on the bottom but wow that's amazing and here's the next morning it is all white <laughs> Here's the Walgreens where I went yesterday. Yes, you do. They're on the back. And that's what it looks like. All snowing. Now that lady's definitely scared to do something to go down. Because this is where they can crash and lose control. And live updates of the next day. There is snow everywhere as you can see. Um, snow plows are pushing everything on the main roads. Making sure the main roads are clear. Um, but it was definitely all white this morning completely all around there's some comparison you can see all the you know all the snow build up but they've done a good job keeping the parking lots clear to be honest with you this was all snowy last night so so that's how they clean the sidewalks they literally use a four-wheeler and people with shovels that's how they do it that's cool. We're gonna be turning up here. Ooh, full wheel drive. Ain't no have no problem.